my little home here. I don't want to bring so much on a mortgage. But I'm willing to sacrifice it in exchange for a good defense lawyer. If Maud and Esther are tried together, I am willing to back both of them. While I deplore the act as anyone living, and I am not upholding the deed, I feel it is my duty as a father to sister all I can. I do not think she was mentally responsible considering the strain she has been under. Why do you think your family is so interested in this Crefield character? Your daughter seems uh, particularly devoted to his teachings. Maud has always been of a religious turn of mind. can't be interrupted right now, Papa. We're about to receive messages. Messages? The Lord speaks to us as his children. We can't expect my family to return home, Father. As long as these so-called Christians refuse to let us worship in town, then we will stay here. And this is better for us anyway. True holiness cannot be obtained through casual worship. We're gaining a place in the kingdom of heaven here. That's the kind of talking you've always teased me out about. present moment, if Maud's own father does not stretch out his arms, who will? Most everyone has pressed a harsh judgment on my daughter already for her part in this tragic affair, and I guess I understand why, but I beg you to consider every angle of this unfortunate series of events. Many of you know of our statements that my daughter made to the Seattle papers yesterday. I'll leave you with a quote regardless. <laughs> she said, won't you please tell the people that no woman ever felt for her bereaved old parents more than I do. Tell them that I would gladly give my life if I could return half that comfort that has been stolen from them. That is all I wish to say. I hope all this past rollerism is buried and that this is to be my last public or private utterance of the hated subject.